John Burhani grew up along the shoreline of Lake Michigan. As a kid, he was fun-loving and adventurous, a great friend, someone you wanted to hang out with. say John loved all things water would be an understatement. A passionate sailor, he was also a dedicated windsurfer and kite surfer. It was often said, if you can't find John, you should take a drive by the lake. And then along came a beautiful girl, and John became a husband and father. John Burhani was also a gifted artist. As he grew up, so much of him just came out as art. It was often seamless and generally effortless for him. He wasn't a big reader, and he hated writing, but his hands sure could tell a tale. So when John was alive, we were searching for a venue for a studio for him, and it just came to be that we bid on, and holy cow, um, won the bid for the big red lighthouse in Kenosha. Not long after he purchased the lighthouse, John was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of lymphoma. In the ensuing years, he endured multiple rounds of chemotherapy and radiation, as well as a bone marrow transplant. After his cancer diagnosis, John began to spend more time painting and his repertoire grew and changed. During his illness, he painted honest and raw self-portraits. On May 5th, 2015, John lost his battle to cancer. Um, it has been my goal to ensure that the community has access to the arts and to the lighthouse, which um, has become the beacon for the arts in Kenosha, Wisconsin. We open it up every year so that we have um, five to seven different practicing artists that have a residency throughout the summer. Art therapy for John and myself during cancer treatment was so important because it enabled us to both transcend the horribleness of treatments and the frightening future that might be upon us. And it really enabled us to focus on creating something beautiful in the immediacy of being enthralled in creating something. In 2018, we established a fund in John's memory to support art therapy for cancer patients. People can express maybe what is difficult to say in words, 
but also can find uh, meaning and build meaning and discover within them a creativity that they might not realize that they had. There's a, an aspect of art therapy where there is the relationship of the person with the artwork and then the relationship of the therapist to the client's artwork and then the relationship that they build together by doing art together. So it can be um, sometimes you'll have a conversation that will come up through the art or while doing art and sometimes it's just a wordless kind of a, a being with somebody which can be really helpful. We worked through a whole series of ideas and images and actually it took her on kind of an inner journey. She went to kind of a, a dark place with experiencing her treatment and then she found the source of her hope which she wanted to share with others. And her story is that she's a very busy, productive person and then and becoming ill took that from her. And she also realized that that busyness was a way that she could keep a few steps ahead of her problems. We thank you for being with us tonight and for joining us on this journey.